Hi, my name's Mark Street and I work for Liberator Limited in the UK. In this video, I want to explain how you save and import a vocabulary into an accent communication device. To do this, you will need a USB memory stick. That will allow us to save the vocabulary to this stick and import it into another device. Before we get going, let me explain that this button here at the bottom of the screen, the white one, is what is referred to as the tools or the home button. It can also be the cogwheel found in the top right hand corner of the screen as well. Press this once and you'll have seven options. Go into toolbox, select import save. Now we're going to save the entire device contents of the device. We're going to save all the vocabularies. So select save all vocabularies. Now we're going to choose the location of our USB stick. So choose folder. I know that E drive is our USB stick. I'm going to select the E drive. And now I'm going to select OK. And I'm going to type the name of the file that I wish to save. I'm going to type mark followed by 250820, today's date, and select OK. The device is now saving the entire device contents. So everything, each vocabulary on the device is being saved. I recommend doing this as opposed to individual vocabularies as in case we save the wrong file. By saving all the vocabulary files, this allows us to capture everything within the device. Once this is saved, the transfer in progress will finish and that will allow us to have that file on our USB stick. It's almost complete. I'll just wait for that to end. And once finished, you will simply press OK on screen to exit that window. There we go, please wait. And select OK and OK again. That file is now on our USB memory stick. If you receive a device in the post or from our courier, the device may not look like your device does. I'm going to reset my device now and have its standard configuration. So imagine that you've turned your device on or the loan device for the very first time and you have a different display. What I'm going to show you now is how you can import that vocabulary from that previous device into the current device. So there we go, we have a completely different configuration to as we did before. And now I'm going to go back into the toolbox. I'm going to go back and I'm going to select import save. And this time I'm going to select import all vocabularies. It says all vocabulary will be erased. Do you want to continue? I'm going to say yes. And now I'm going to select the file mark 250820 and it will now load that file back into the device. So now the previous configuration in the one accent is being loaded into the new accent communication device. This will take maybe a minute or two to do that. Once it's complete, it will say OK on screen. As it did before, we simply press OK and go to the main screen and check that the vocabulary is in the right setup. If it's not in the right vocabulary, we can in fact change that. And hopefully I'll get a chance to be able to show you how to do that. So as the transfer is currently in progress, that is transferring all that vocabulary from that device back into my current communication device. There we go. The transfer is complete and I'll press OK and I'm going to press OK again and OK again. Now, a lot of people panic at this point thinking, where's my vocabulary? This looks nothing like my vocabulary. However, by going back into the toolbox, by selecting on the top row vocabulary options and then change vocabulary, Note that you go into the vocabulary. I was previously using Area 4, Core 45 PCS. Select that, select OK, select OK again, 
And now the vocabulary is visible as it was on the previous device. I hope this is useful. If you wish to have more support or need to contact us, contact us on 01733 370 470 option 2. Thanks for watching.